<laughs> you know Welcome what? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. To okay. the middle of them all talking shit. Um, we were headbanging, actually. You missed it. Yeah, it was beautiful headbanging. Okay. Do it again. We're seeing we the revolution now. Do it again. <laughs> okay. Ask the chat. There will now be the there will now be five seconds of headbanging. <laughs> Three, go. two, one, go. <laughs> and cease. <laughs> Fantastic. You're so goddamn cool. You are just so goddamn cool. We are so strange. We are fucking awesome. If Woo! we ever do like a highlights reel of this Word, session, bro. that definitely needs to be on it. <laughs> <laughs> So it could just, just like repeat. segue from someone dying to just us head banging. <laughs> right. Speaking of people dying, Tudor at midnight. Um, <laughs> what? Let's let's pick what up with I... you guys. Picking what, your way are through. Are they the... banging heads? No, no. I said speaking of people dying, dear. Oh, fair. It's, okay. It's, yeah, it's the bad sense. option. Yeah. So we'll 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 focus on you guys for a while because I think the next big development comes from here. Um. Conflict has been avoided in one one place where I expected it, and bad juju is happening in another place. So let's uh, see how it's going. Yeah, you guys. So you wander down into the uh, like into this sub basement. Like Rourke closes, uh, Rock and twice closes big like grate over the top of it, and yeah, you find like the back wall where there's um there's a little like it's kind of almost like a wine. It would be a wine cellar in a modern house, um, but it's like. It's another facet of Cecil's paranoia that he needs to be able to get in and out of places um, without being seen. So yeah, you work your way in, and you pop up in like the basement of um in of, of Cecil's mansion. And yeah, you're start. Uh, what what do you what do you do? Like you're you're in the lowest floor of Cecil's mansion, and he's told you it's in his bedroom. So I guess um sorry not Lux midnight. You're still kind of leading the way. What's the yeah. plan? Um, my plan is to get everybody out of this shitty cellar. Yeah. Um, and I suggest we send Rourke up first. Out of yeah. Um, so that we can just check that there's no one like lurking in the house because I'm assuming that every of like all of the guards are aware that you know the the air's been turned off and that there's probably some sort of mission going on to have it turned back yeah. on again. So there's probably people like guarding the house. Yeah, I think if you suggest Rock goes first, he kind of turns and goes, "Send the stupid welder first. If he dies, we won't lose any actual fighting potential." And he smiles. Over yes, the but then, twice. well, yes, but then if we send him, it's going to alert every single guard into the fact that we're here. Whereas none of the guards know that you've turned on them. None of the guards know you're with us and working for us. So if you're in there, you'd just be like, oh, sorry, I was just checking the passage just to make sure that there was no one in there. Coast is clear, and then fucking turns around and kills them all. Uh, give me a stoose manipulate. Rourke doesn't like the idea of being a bullet sponge. Shockingly. Well, if this roll goes well, then he can deal with it. <laughs> and he can suck it. <sighs> Scroll. Yeah, yeah, that's a success. I don't think that's XP. Um, so yeah, Rourke kind of looks at you and just like, praise that. Fucking women. And then like, yeah, snaps back the, um, like, part the, 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 the part of the gun that like, it cocks, out. my brain is just derped right here. But yeah. Cocks the safety off. Yeah, yeah. Just wanders upstairs, like, gun slightly more ready than it probably should be. Opens the door. I don't see shit. Seems we're good. Everyone else must be elsewhere. Um... Yeah. So, um, I think you guys get into the kitchen when, like, a squeal comes over, like, outside and throughout. It's like, and Ella's voice comes over the top of, um, comes over the top of, like, throughout the intercom, throughout the entire city. Like, you all would hear this. Um, and yeah. You hear the sound of, Attention, ladies and gentlemen of Cecil Road. It's come to our attention that a group known amongst you as the Tudor Court has attempted, uh, well, successfully murdered uh, the head of public security sheriff and several of his men. Uh, also, a large contingent of my of my own men uh, here at Cecil Security, and have proceeded to kidnap um, our dear Mayor Cecil. 
To that end, anyone who brings Tudor in alive, mostly maimed is fine though, uh, will earn from us a hefty bounty and I presume the undying gratitude of Cecil. I think Tudor, you see Cecil like turn to you at this point and just nods. Yeah. Um. Yes. Uh. Anyone no, no, anyone who assists uh, the traitor Tudor or any of his compatriots during this um, time, once this crisis is settled down, will be summarily shot. Uh, have a good day. Clicks off. Um, yeah. So I think there's this moment where Tudor, everyone in this room has just been offered a great life at... at um, that Cecil's like funding for popping one in your kneecaps and dragging you upstairs. <laughs> what do you do? Well, guys, um, after hearing that message, hopefully none of you have been tempted. But I would keep in mind that this is the same, same people offering a war that we're happily about to murder 200 people. And once I'm gone, and they have no opposition, it doesn't sound like it would be particularly useful for them to give large sums of money to someone that's loyalty can only be bought with said money when they have no further use for them. So, you probably probably best just to stick with me, and when we come out on top, the, the wealth will be shared, and we'll be top dogs. If you go this way, you're gambling on potentially getting a bit of money, maybe escaping with your life, probably not. The the the, gra the sun it, the grass is greener on my side of the field. Um, I'm just gonna take a very brief pause because uh, Encounter Roleplay has just hosted us for 14 viewers. Hello, people of Encounter Roleplay. Thank you all for stopping by, especially the guys at Encounter Roleplay. You guys fucking rock. Welcome to the Snowclips, our Apocalypse World campaign. Yes. So sorry to break the action, but yeah. So I think. Raw kind of goes, well, I was tempted, but <sighs> my boss has already seen me murder two of his guys. I don't think he's going to really be uh, totally wild on me. Turning on you now. Plus, the skinny one over there, he looks like he could really do some damage to me. And he, like, leers at um, uh, East Harrow, who kind of looks at him like with disdain written across his face. Yeah, so you push on upstairs. Is that the plan? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you... This house is eerily quiet. Like, there's very little hustle and bustle. Like, you look at some of the windows and you see, like, yeah, I think you see on the walls, you see all these guys crouching there with the rocket tubes and RPGs and stuff ready to, like, take out, um... Uh, to take out the McCraymobile. Obviously, you don't know that's what they're there for, but, I mean, you guys are smart enough to go, there's only one thing in this town that requires that much firepower. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You get up the stairs and you get onto the first floor. Um, and I think you're just walking along, like, towards Cecil's room when one of the doors opens and um, Cecil's butler just kind of glides out of it and turns and, like, a, uh, like jumps back and then for a moment and then just says, Madam Midnight and guests. I think maybe at this point, like, Rourke is standing in front of Cecil. I believe you have something about uh, have you brought him for execution uh, or arrest my, my, my apologies I'm being presumptuous L glancing at Tudor um, you are very much mistaken um, we are here to help the poor people of um, Cecil Road and then I attempt to shoot him in the face uh, go aggro He's, yeah. Go aggro. What are you using, by the way? I'm using the one that I've been given, so not mine. Rifle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, go aggro. Not so loud, yet. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, so that is a seven. So when I go aggro, I mean, I'm not even gonna read through the options. Like he doesn't see this coming. So you just basically, yeah, you just sweep this gun up and just like as you get to kind of crotch height pull down the trigger, and Cecil's creepy robotic butler gets sawn in half with his assault rifle bullets. 
and all of the rest of you are like, oh my god. And Rourke, I think Rourke is like looking at you just naked like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you are everything I want in a woman. <laughs> uh, whereas everyone else is like, oh, why? Why are we friends with this crazy bitch? Um, even Cecil's a little, like, shocked. Um, so... I just turn around and just make a, a casual comment, mainly towards Cecil going, I always hated that fucking butler. <laughs> um, yeah, so the people kind of sweep past. Um, I think the, one of the doors bursts open, um, and I think Ella's head pokes out, sees you, and like dives back in. Um, and you hear a yell of, You're never getting out if you're alive, Tudor. This is not a smart place for you to be. Um, address. what's the kind of layout of the area we're in now? We're kind of in oh. a corridor. There's a few rooms on the side if you want to dive in there, but I mean, they're not willing to jump out into your, like, seven dudes, but at the same time, gunfire was just heard in Cecil's house. And I think, yeah, literally, as as, as soon as she says that, you, um, you hear, like, a, a shout, and then alarms start going off. Like, just... Guess we should just rush towards turning the air back on then. Um, Continue with our with our mad quest. Okay, so are you gonna like run into that room? Oh, are they all in his bedroom? Yeah, they basically like one of them put their head out. I was like, nope, <laughs> I ain't running into seven people. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess we should make and kind of gather everyone together and kind of force our way into the room, okay. guns blazing, because yeah. I mean we've made enough noise now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, We're not exactly trying to hide our position so, anymore, are we? Uh, who is leading the gang? I guess it's it's Tudor by Tudor. kind of necessity. Yes. So yeah. are you all <laughs> fighting like as a gang? Like the, what is it, eight of you? And Cecil gets like shoved into a wall. But there's, yeah, there's Tudor, Midnight, East Harrow, Margaret, eh, twice, Rourke. There's six of you. So yeah, you have a small gang. You're all carrying, so you're basically a three harm, kind of averaging out to one armor, I guess. Gang, um, small, uh, small gang, yeah. So, if you're leading, that's kind of all of you fighting together. Um, although actually, even like you can do your own thing. So yeah, you you lead your followers in there and walk in there to like start shooting. So give me that seize by force as you charge into a room filled with guns. <sighs> This, this is where we go down in that blaze of glory. So I assume I'm rolling hard, right? You are indeed rolling hard. This is definitely a hard roll. Please roll well. It would, it would be, oh! oh! I think I'm dead. Um, okay. <laughs> what happens here? Oh my god. How bad is that? Um, oh god. Oh, that's, that's oh it's double good. one. That's a double one. Oh dear. Yeah, so I think what happens oh. here... Oh, that, that could not have gone worse. Yeah, like, Cecil gets shoved into a wall. Like, midnight kind of you're slower on the run in like east harrow runs in ahead of tudor i think tudor you just get behind him as like betsy the shotgun like ella just like you just see ella standing literally in the doorway and she just pumps around directly into east harrow's chest like eviscerating his chest cavity he flies backwards into you like a few of the bullets like p burst through and hit you uh you take with your armor you'll take one harm from this um, you get blasted back against the hallway. The other guys run in and start, like, shooting and diving for cover. Um, you hear, like, uh, twice, like, cry out um, as, like, you hear a sickening crunch of, like, a bullet hitting bone. Um, yeah, it's it's not going well for them in there. Uh, yeah, roll 2d6 plus 1 for me, please. Let's see how bad this goes for you. Remember, this is the role you want to fail. Well, I get double one again, so I'm probably nice going to roll like a 12 now. Uh, you have hard highlighted, don't you? A six is good. Six, yeah, you you kind of like lurch back. You take a harm, so tick the three harm box, but you're past that. Actually kind of okay here. Um, Wait, so how much harm have I suffered? You take one check of harm. Okay, cool. So you're pretty all right. Um, yeah, East Harrow kind of took the brunt of that for you. So... Yeah, I don't get anything for that hard roll because I failed, right? No, no, you still do. It's as long every time you roll oh. a stat, doesn't matter if you succeed or fail. 
Oh, right, okay. Damn. So, mark XP. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, midnight, everything is going horribly. I've leveled up. <laughs> okay, well, have a look at what you want to advance, but maybe not advancing it right in the middle of the fight. Um, mi midnight, everyone has run in there, and there are sounds of gunfire and pain, all of which seems to be coming from your guys. Um, what do you do? Like, you're still outside, kind of, like, taking cover in the doorway. I think you actually uh, hear Cecil we... laughing. Are we gag. in? Are we in the room that's got the air switch in it? Uh, no. This panel is somewhere in his room, so you need to get into his room and then find wherever the panel is stored in there. What the fuck are we doing in this room then? Well, because you have to go through it. <laughs> okay, so this panel uh, is kept secret somewhere in Cecil's room. I am. The people with I'm... guns are there. <laughs> well, I am going to use. I'm going to drag Cecil. Yep. Yeah. Use him as essentially a human shield. Okay. Um, that's, and that's just better. and just try and shoot as many people as I can while trying to like blast my way through. Okay. Like, towards the room I need to be in to turn the air back on. Okay. Give me a seize by force then. So you grab Cecil and he's like, fuck no. Um, but I mean he's bound and gagged and all this jazz. I don't think he's physically able to resist you that hard. Um. Oh my god, that's another fail. Ah! Um. Well, the wind, the winds of change are not it's being being so kind. So changing. Yeah. Okay. You're doing so well. Can I assist? Am I not up? Not really. The floor you're like, yet? You're you're like smacked to the well. wall by like East Harrow's like East Harrow's corpse like sliding down off you. Um, as like she as a midnight like grabs Cecil by the th round the throat, jumps into the room, bringing her assault rifle up, and then I think literally the first thing that happens is um. Is Ella just springs out? Maybe someone, no, one of her like two bodyguards, like springs out of behind, like and just slugs you in the face, midnight. Um, so you take a point of damage for that because that's where you don't have any armor. So you're back up to nine. Yeah. Grabs Cecil and like tosses him across the room, um, onto like maybe onto the bed or something, like just away from the combat. Um, yeah. Uh, also roll me two d six plus one. Let's see whether he just knocks you out. Oh, is it dash dash r? Uh, yeah, slash r space two d six plus one. I love the hard move. It's so bad. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay. Ah, uh, that is it. Hard healing. Oh, uh, Chip, could you mute the microphone? Yeah, it's passing. Over. It's an error. Yeah. Uh, on a certain time the MC can choose one. You lose your footing, you lose grip on whatever you're holding, you lose track of someone or something you're attending to, you miss noticing something important. I guess you lose track of someone or something you're attending to. They pull Cecil away from you, no questions asked, and just chuck him across the room. You take harm without doing anything. So yeah, um... So you guys are getting completely destroyed in here. Um... What do you do? Like... Shoot a, like, East Harrow's corpse, like, slides off you, like, he's dead. Just gone. The lights have gone off in his eyes. What do you do? Um, charge back in and try and shoot Ella. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, are you, again, like, you, you yell to your gang. Um, yeah, I think... No surrender! Yeah, they've taken... They were a one... So, yeah, okay. You can seize my force one more time. There's, there's, still, there's still enough of them alive that you actually still have a small gang. Like Rourke, go, is like, Rourke has, like, pulled twice his body in front of him and is, like, shooting from behind it. Like, that's the best cover he's found. Margaret is just, like... Margaret is doing okay. She's, like, actually scrapping with one of the bodyguards in the corner. Ella... Can I t Sorry? C can I level up and get plus one hard at this moment? Or do I have to wait till later? Yeah, you, you can, like... You can say from, like, having just seen a second one of your friends die in your arms that, yeah, maybe this is the time to be hard. Maybe, maybe it's, like, Tudor like, shed some of his humanity. It's like, these fuckers deserve to die. And charges in, ready. Cool. What weapon are you using, Roll. by the way? Um, the ray gun. Okay. <laughs> the yeah. gun made by Ray. Boom! Boom. <laughs> okay. Finally a success. So from the Seize by Force move, you get to choose... Um... When you try to see something by force, that's, that's more like you it. choose three. So you can take definite. So you're. What are you trying to see by force? The room? Their lives? What? Their lives. Their lives. Okay. So 
You can take definite hold of their lives, you can suffer little harm, you can inflict terrible harm, or you can impress, dismay, or frighten your enemy. Bear in mind, like, your gang overall is probably like a three-harm gang, which is probably the number we're using instead. They have two armor, like, they're wearing fucking good shit body armor. Um, and they're still up and still shooting. Like, they are still some scary bitches. Um, take definite hold of it and inflict terrible harm. Oh, you get Let's three. go for it. Get three, buddy. So you get to pick one. And more. suffer little harm. <laughs> okay, so they are also three harm gang. Uh, so you guys have one armor. Uh, they also, um, so you suffer little harm goes down to two. Uh, then you take, uh, your armor takes down to one. So you guys take one harm. Your gang takes one harm, and so do you. Um, which, uh, yeah, your gang taking one harm is actually really bad right now. Because, like, Margaret gets, like, oh. thrown back, and then, like, he brings the rifle butt round and, like, just knocks her out. Um, I mean, twice was already quite dead. Uh, Rourke, like, gets shot in the, um, I think in some part, like, exposed part, like, shot in the shoulder, and he's, like, collapses back and then gets shot in the leg and, like, just collapses to the ground. Still alive, but, like, heaving for breath. Um... Yeah, no, I think one hits him, like, right in the, um, the bulletproof armor, and, like, completely knocks the wind out of him. You also take one harm, so roll me 2d6 plus 1, but you deal, um, so you deal, you're a three-harm gang, you inflict terrible harm, so you deal two harm to them overall. So I think, yeah, it's like, he, um, the guy fighting Margaret like, throws her off, hits her with the rifle, she, like, goes down... But as as she does so, um, Rourke like shoots him in the face and like his head caves through the back because you see his definite hold of their lives. So you're good shots right now. Um, the other guy takes him out, but you like round him and like pump lead from the um, the ray gun into him. Um, but e Ella then like comes up and I think she she goes like she whirls around from like when she was fighting someone else and like hits you in the face with the butt of the shotgun. Um, maybe she's like mid pump from having already eviscerated these towers. Wax you. I mean, two six plus one, but you fail the, the the harm roll, so you just kind of take the harm. Um, yeah, you take the same harm as your gang, so your armor doesn't help here. Uh, and yeah, you rock back. Midnight. Last last woman, kind of, kind of standing. <laughs> um, so question. Yeah. Oh, am I hearing the sounds of gunfire outside? Or no. Is it muted? I, okay. You're quite a distance away. Um, so maybe you, you may maybe hear something. I guess you could potentially give me a sharp roll. And you said a sharp roll, did you? I, mean, I, I think I heard a sharp yeah, roll. I'm not I'm making a sharp other than roll. A 10 plus. I don't care. It's XP. Um, it's yeah. only okay, you can have the XP, but you, you don't hear shit. Like, this is way too far away. Only because of your keen driver senses that I even give you the chance. Um, <sighs> damn it. So, Midnight, you're at nine harm. Uh, Ella is still up. She's the only one left alive. But then again, of your gang, Rourke is bleeding out in the corner. Uh, Tudor is looking like has a broken nose and, like, um, he's breathing hard. Like, he's not used to combat, even if he is getting more ruthless. You feel like hell. Um, really? You don't say? Twice is riddled with bullets, having been used as a meat shield, in a very literal sense, and um, yeah, what's her name? Margaret is out for the count. What do you do? Um, it's a very good question. One that I haven't actually thought of. I mean, this is this is the thing about Pockets World Combat, is that with certain characters, it doesn't even matter when you succeed really hard. If you're against badasses, you still get wrecked. Can I, um... Can I use my other move, my eye on the door move, to just fucking run? Well, leg it. <laughs> Absolutely, you can do that. Uh, let me... So that's uh, rolling plus cool, is it not? Yeah. Um, okay. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, I'll bring the chat over to here. Name your escape route and roll plus cool. On a 10 plus, you're gone. On a 7 sign, you can go or stay. But if you go, it costs you. Leave something behind or take something with you. The MC will tell you what. Um, on a miss, you're caught vulnerable. Half in, half out. So, yeah. Give me a plus cool roll. 
So that just me rolling cool? Yeah, just just roll. Oh, you can actually click uh, next to the move. There is a little dice button oh, as well. Like you can click that as well, so it gives it it gives it the name. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So let's what what Midnight happens? Gone. Basic moves. Um. Yeah. Okay. So Scream really, really, you really leg it out the really door, loud. and um, you leg it out the door. And like, I think Tudor, you like are recoiling from the shotgun. You see Midnight like stagger away. I don't know how you feel about being utterly betrayed by one of your your closest friends and court members, but yeah, Midnight, you get like one step out and look up, and Parcher's guys, Parcher and his two men, are just standing there with like guns pointing at you. It's like, now I'm afraid I'm I can't can't let you do that, Missy. And they just gestures back down the hallway with the gun. Um. And then, yeah, I think Parcher yells, Whoa there! Let's have a little chat, shall we? Um, and yeah. Who's he yelling that at? Like, Her into this room. Everyone. Like, it, it's kind of in the general vicinity. He, he can hear the gunfight very easily. So, Tudor, what do you do? Like, Ella kind of, like, turns, but she's very much still aware of you. And I think she's finished pumping and is, like, has given herself significant distance that if you... You you'll want to be fast on the trigger if you take if you want to try and shoot her now. That thing is, as you discovered, quite dangerous. What do you do, Tudor? Midnight's kind of busy just having her hands up at the moment. Have they made it into the room yet? Oh uh, no, they haven't. They've just yelled. They're they're not gonna walk into the room until they're certain they're not going to be shot at. Yeah. What do you what do you do slash say like Ella, Ella isn't going to just execute you at this moment in time, but at the same time she's wary and yeah. What do you just kind of are you specifically not saying anything and just kind of keeping your gun at your side or like half ready? Yeah, I'll react essentially how Ella's reacted. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think you and Ella kind of eye each other with a Mexican standoff, and Ella starts to slowly give you space, and then uh, she yells. All right, come on in. And yeah, Parcher like walks up. It's like, I think he um he indicates his buddy Jeremiah and goes, "Milady, if you'd be so kind, my friend here he wants a hug." By which I mean you're a hostage. And then Jeremiah goes to grab you. Good night. Um. Where exactly am I standing right now? Am I just uh, so you, the basically the you get out into this corridor? You are utterly like completely seen, and three men are just pointing guns directly at you, and you're like not even with your gun, like up because you were running. So like you're caught in a really terrible spot. Like to actually get into firing position, you'd probably have to act under fire, where the fire is bullets. Yeah. Um, can't really talk my way out of this, can I? I mean, you can try, but <laughs> being taken as a hostage, I mean, you can say whatever you want. This is about to devolve into a, a conversation of some description. Um, yeah, I think as this hand reaches out for you, you hear at the very back of your mind this girlish giggle again. A little voice going, I could help. And then we cut to uh, Stein and Rachel. Um, yeah. So Rachel kind of looks at you and goes, well, unfortunately, if I don't really want to kill you, Stein. It might be useful to me. I think I'm going to have to leave this one behind. Poor Preed. He was such a good man once. Nowadays... Got anything else you'd like to ask me before I vanish, Stein? Anything you'd like to know? For instance, I don't know, what I know about the lady you love? Um, I physically try to stop myself vomiting. I'm actually kind of start. I Stein is properly spooked at this point. Um, he should be. Yeah, like he's out of out of character, really 
not comfortable. Um, he basically asked, uh, okay, so I ask, um, what, what is your purpose? What do you, what do you want? She kind of like tilts her head. Um, I guess you're now thinking of her as a she rather than a he. Like it's, it's evident this is something wearing Preed. Tilts her head and just goes, well, that one. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't like to play all my cards at once. I'm awfully oh. good at card games. Wintermute. Do you like? I think even Preed's face, like this look of disgust, passes it. He goes, Stein, I like you. Don't push it. And then Stein like collapses. Not Stein. Preed collapses like a puppet with his strings cut. Um, and falls to the ground. And like you see this his eyes like go glassy and completely vacant, and falls over. And this weird psychic like pressure you are feeling it vanishes as she's left somehow. Um and yeah. Um I think the next thing that you hear is Preed just kind of starts screaming. Utterly inhuman howling um, and like convulsing on the floor in some kind of fit. Okay, how how is everyone else in the room? Because I've got several people. That I've yeah, got, I think like, at this, like people have like turned around, started running back. Um, I, I think they started running back at the um, the gunshot, and then like the, the people just arrive and like, die! What the fuck? What's going on? And like Preed is howling at the top of his voice. Um, I turn around and, and shout the the nearest group of people, restrain him, gag him now. Yeah, they, like, they run forward. Make sure he like, does not bite his tongue, restrain him. Yeah, um, they, like, pin him down, and he's, like, fighting them, and then, like... I think, after a moment, like, these eyes, like, stare right at you, and, like, he goes... She... She was in my brain! <gasps> and, like, you see him shame something. Like, um, I think... He lunges for a gun. Um, like he actually, like almost in human strength, throws someone off him and lunges for a gun. Um, do you? I, I, no, you I attempt. To kick, I attempt to kick it away. Yeah, he that's seized by force. You're seizing by force of the gun. In this case. Uh, uh, it's rolling hard. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, I was on. Right. Oops. Uh, okay, yeah, so, um, you get to it, and I presume it's, like, you're not trying to inflict terrible harm or anything like that. No, I'm just trying to get it out of his reach. Yeah, you, so you can see it definitely before, so you get two or one on a partial. Uh, you get two. So you can just take a definite hold of it and, um, and, uh, suffer a little harm. So, like, he kind of pours at you, but he's too shaky and weak to do anything. You just basically, like, like, kick him a, a bit, and then he, like, rolls over. And kick this gun is this away. my own pis uh, p uh, yeah, sleeve? Yeah, it's your sleeve pistol that's fallen to the ground. Oh, so can I just pick it up? Yeah, you can like you just move it out oh. of the way and then like pick it up and reattach it to the mechanism that yeah. like, spring loads from your wrist. Solid. Um, yeah, and I think Pre just kind of goes into that like the fetal position and starts rocking, and like shuts down. Okay, uh, so I address the people that went to restrain him. Um, you don't take your eyes off this guy. Uh, yeah. If he moves, restrain him. Use whatever force need be. He doesn't. Get out of our our sight. Stein, what the fuck happened uh, to him? Like, this is Preed. He's a bit nervous, but he, he's not a fucking howling lunatic. And he was fine five seconds ago. What did you do to this guy? Shut up. <sighs> Shut up. This is not important. The priority is getting these people above ground. I have. We found the way out of this fucking hell, and I, I need a couple of minutes. For everyone just to shut the fuck up so I can get us out of here. Okay, um, give me a seduce manipulate. Uh, wrong weird. Fuck sake. Oh. Yeah, they're, um, yeah, you can see it. Um, so yeah, they're like, hell no, Stein. Tell us what the fuck is going on here. I swear to God, we'll drag you back and. Throw you down that goddamn elevator shaft. I think you're you're seeing that thing that like 
happens in certain situations when Stein is no longer, like, after Stein has fixed something, where they're like, people view you as, like, a weirdo at best and dangerous the rest of the time, like, they're kind of, there's this weird fear of you in some ways. Um, yeah, and you get a lot of, so they're, they're, like, I think there's a, an element of, like, they just saw you pick up a gun, they heard a gunshot, and now Pri is on the floor screaming. It kind of goes, hey, what the fuck happened? Right, you want your answers, Freed is fine, is fine physically, he is not injured, he, I believe that he may, may be possessed. I think the eyebrow, like, goes so high, <laughs> it's like, possessed, uh-huh, Yeah. like ghosts. So, so I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you either throw funnies at me and say, oh, possess, oh, witchcraft, or I'm gonna say, do you want to get out of here? Because I'm going to tell you this right now, there's no air down here, and it's it, the supply is rapidly decreasing. Do you want out, or do you want to stay here and have some yuck? Um, okay. Uh, so I think at this point, like, again, on your, like, psychic synesthesia, like, you see the air, like, ripple in front of you, like, that kind of classic photo of, like, the little water ripple. And, um, you hear that giggle. Like, it, it's, it's like the sound wave of the giggle. Okay. Ooh. Sounds like you're not so good with people, eh? And then it, the, the presence vanishes again. Um, but yeah, I think to punctuate that, like, maybe they'll believe you if you just open this door. So do you want to try and thing speak? Yeah, before I do, I mean, I, I can see this panel now. I've actually found yeah, yeah, it. The, 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 like, access it's bit just... slid away. So it, it's, okay. it's now, like, a high-tech panel that's like, yeah. You okay, can so install it, just, for one thing. It's not just a pressure panel. Yeah, no, no, it, it's like a reader of some description. Cool. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, thing speak. Okay. Uh, Give we... me that weird roll. Uh, do I not have to roll thing speak? Uh, you can roll thing speak, but it's technically. Let me get uh, XP. Nice. Six. Woo! You got a success. Yay! So Cheers for Stein and okay. XP. Yeah. So mark XP. Um, you had cool highlighted. Okay. So. You can ask three of those questions. Six. Chat. Right. These are the um, I'm going to start with. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Would help if I had the questions open in front of me. Uh, they're just on the. Um, if you actually open the little box underneath Think Speak, you can, like. There's a little. Oh, it actually thing. tells you where the, the questions are. are on there. My bad, forgive I can't me. paste them all over. Uh, I get three questions, right? Three. For uh, actual success. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, before I actually open it, I'm actually going to go with uh, what was said around this um, this equipment last. Um, the actual wording is for that. Sorry, it's... Uh, what, has been done most recently? what words have been said most recently by this? Um, uh, yeah, if I ask this question, will the, this will pre, you know, this will yeah, go... Yeah, I, I think maybe you can just push past your conversation. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I think you get the image of Parcher, like, walking up and knowing exactly where this... I don't know, you, you just, you hear, like, conversation between his boys, like, Parcher, why the fuck are we just at the North Face? Nothing here. And Parcher's, like, weird accent kind of going, because it's like, that boys, I remember. Not everything, he's asking. You hear the kind of side open like a, okay, and then yeah, the I think that's the last conversation that happened before you arrived. Sick. I'm getting a good drop on exactly what's plan yeah. here. Um, okay, let's go with what's wrong with this and how might I fix it. Um, Basically, trying to get it to work. Yeah. So uh, I think there's it's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but like yeah, for your intents and purposes, it's a thing of like it's designed to read specific palm prints um yeah and i mean you can you can probably pop it open with um with enough time and like try and jiggle around some wires and see if you can um like rec get it to like fake it essentially um yeah yeah um to be honest i don't see any of these questions helping me so i'm going to just pop it open uh, i've got my yeah. tool back 
I think uh, if like, just... you start to like pull out tools and shit, again, the guy's gonna be like, um, Stein, again, we ask for an explanation, you tell us there's a fucking ghost, and then you just do your weird thing, like, fix him, you crazy fuck. I think you, you hear the sound of like, um, like, one of them pulls out this tire iron he's got. Like, fuck guy. <laughs> Okay, one, you can see he's clearly, just look at him, he's he's in a ball in the corner, he's no danger to anyone at this moment in time, he is clearly not harmed, he is just spooked. I need a couple of minutes to get this open, this is a pressure panel that we, or a, a, recogni a palm recognition panel that I can't imitate, so I need to get inside it, get it open, and this is going to get us above ground. If you want to talk about ghosts and witches and shit when we get above ground, be my guest. But right now, other priorities. Okay, give me give me one more seduce manipulate. Let's see whether you can convince him with desperation as opposed to with logic. I fucking hope so. So manipulating with your weird. Mom, weird. Do not fail me again. Succeeds. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Shut up with it just about. It's better than fine. <laughs> okay, so on this you have to give... He wants a promise uh, for his help. Yep. And then a concrete yep. assurance of his promise. Okay, can I have a name for this guy? Like that? Uh, yeah, sure. Address. Let's think of a name for this dude. Um... Isaac. Yeah, fuck it. Name is Isaac. Okay. Um, yeah. I like how I have your naming for you. <laughs> That's fine. It's Apocalypse World. That's all good. Yay! Outlaw Country. Um, Outlaw Country! Uh, <laughs> Isaac. Uh, my notes will say random dude. Yeah, so Isaac, um, I guess context is like a... I don't know, maybe he works in... Um, he's probably an, he's an excavator, stuff like that. Um, uh, so works on one side twice is... Um, it's probably like a little taller than you, but actually not like not much above average height. Um, it's a black guy. He's although like muscles like fuck on his arms from working power tools to dig out the foundations of Cecil Road. And yeah, is um, I think a lot of the kind of more practical skills guys are very suspicious of your not necessarily of your tools like they use those all the time. They work. It's your esoteric like you walk in and put your hand on something and then go. This is what's wrong. Give me ten hours. <laughs> That's like that. They consider you the freak. Um, and yeah, this is evidently a guy who's on that level. And it doesn't help that he sees you doing psychic shit around a guy who is freaking out to balls. It was fine twenty seconds ago. But yeah. Um, so what does he ask for? All right, but when we're done here, you're fixing this guy. Uh, whatever the fuck it is you did to him. Um, and he needs a concrete assurance of your promise. He goes, give me the keys to your workshop. You don't get back in there without me until I know you're fixing Preed. And then, me and the boys here won't have to beat you half to death and drag you back to the rest. Hmm. I consider this and I offer an alternative and I say you have my my solemn word that this man will live and I will do everything in my power to right whatever is wrong with him now Stop. I won't give you access to my workshop it is my sanctuary but and I remove the head the headpiece that I usually wear and I give it to him and I say if you have ever seen me without this okay you would you've never seen me without this but I give this to you, um, which you will return as soon as I have this man recovered. Okay. I think subtract a barter, because that definitely to make it a good enough thing to be concrete assurance, that's definitely worth a barter. So, like, this thing is, like, really valuable, fancy, like, tech tools. Um, so, yeah. Subtract a barter, um, put a bracket saying on loan to um, Isaac until you show that you're attempting to fix Preed. Yeah. And then you kind of turn around and start like messing with this shit. I think he accepts that. Yeah. yeah. So can can I can I address uh, the mob behind me uh, as yeah, I'm yeah, sure? It's a few of the people arriving now. It's like maybe ten, fifteen guys at this point. Okay. Um, um, is it safe to assume I am making sound progress on getting this thing mm. to work? Yeah, I think once you like actually are free to work by yourself, you 
do it in like two minutes. Like the machine okay. tells you how to make it, as it okay. were. Um, so basically, while I'm doing this, I I'm working, but I am basically shouting to the people behind me. Um, yeah. And I, I I'm basically saying, look, I'm giving you a heads up of what to expect at the top of these stairs. Um, we are likely going to run into Cecil's men. Uh, some some of you are aware that um, there has been, you know, Tudor's court, the Tudor court are in danger and are wanted. Um, you are likely going to run into a hostile environment. If you are going to choose a side, I choose it now before we cross this uh, or get, get, you know, get past this frontier. Um, yeah, I think it's um... it, uh, anyone sat on the fence is going to die. Yeah, I think Isaac maybe like is there like nine. Doing good at inspiring speeches. Trust me, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be anywhere near you if we hadn't already picked a side. You seem to be on the right one, at least. He kind of looks towards Preed most of the time. Um, yeah, I think a thing that maybe you don't notice, but again the audience does, is uh, Barker and Dremer arriving and getting like talking to one of the guys near the edge of like what the fuck is going on with Preed. And as Barker, like, sees all this going on, you see, like, kind of a slow, creepy little smile across his face. And we cut, because we, are, we have a little bit of time left, and there's definitely one scene I want to play out before we finish. So, back in Cecil's bedroom. Um, yeah, I think Ella has pulled Cecil up to his feet as Parcher kind of walks in, like, flanked by um, Jeremiah and uh, Adam, I'm going to go with. Um, like holding um, Jeremiah holding on to um, what's her face Midnight um, uh, by the by the neck and they've all got guns out like, everyone in the room has guns out except for Midnight and Rourke kind of croaks in the corner like <laughs> Midnight oh it turns out you're not quite cut out for this after all it seems <coughs> oh shit that hurts um excuse me busy dying <laughs> and yeah the team in the room Parcher just kind of like ways like right how is everybody doing today um and then yeah what do you guys do I think Ella like pulls um the gag out of Cecil's mouth as well and like he's coughing and spitting a little bit trying to get moisture back in his mouth do either of you say anything do anything I'm not in a massive position to do anything I mean, yet. You have you have the power of speech and he's not like he's not strangling you, he's just got his arm around like your upper body to like hold on to you and make sure you don't do anything. Can I you, spit him in the face? Uh, you probably would have to that that would require a bit more flexibility than you've got maybe access to. You could definitely try. I mean I wouldn't recommend it, but you could try. <laughs> No, I won't do anything. I'll just hope that Tudor has enough strength left to be able yeah. to salvage the situation. Tudor, like, you've entered the Mexican standoff, and it's almost more comfortable to you than the gunfight. Because, <laughs> like, well, talking. All right. Wipes blood. What do you do, buddy? Uh, kind of, without taking my eyes off. Uh, what's the face? Uh, Ella? Sanabian. Ella. Yeah, it's now uh, so, yeah, there's another three-way standoff going. So, Parcher, are you here? Where, where, where have you landed? Are you, are, is, it, is this your play? Are you here for Cecil? Are you here for me? Well, you know, I think it's like, at the moment, I'm open to offers. But here's my thinking. Maybe I should just take it all myself. Because... Here's a trick. The people to leave this room are the ones who get to tell the truth. Whatever the truth may be. So, if we just kill you all, and I think at this point Ella's like, stops untying Cecil and like, Betsy the shotgun comes up again. It's like, maybe we just pretend like we arrived to find you all dead and we switch the air back on with the saviors, with the people who brought down the traitor Tudor. 
all's fair in love and war. Isn't that right? His party, you'd still have to deal with the, with the massive mob out there. And while I bet you do have a certain skill with people, these are angry, upset, confused people. And I'm damn sight sure I can spin a better tale to both of our liking than you can manage alone. Really? Do I need you that badly? I guess give me a manipulate to convince him of his own infirmity. Uh, charismatic 11. Boom. Yeah, so, yeah, I suppose the promise is that they will follow you, uh, that you will put him in a good position, but you don't have to follow through on that promise. Goes, mm, maybe. Maybe I'm not such a fan of working for the man who tried to turn off the air to my laws. Hmm. Um... Yes, I think at this point he, like, puts his gun up and, and like, directly at Ella. Um, and both of his buddies, like, change target onto her as well. He goes, now, Miss Ella, you're a very useful person, and I'd really hate to shoot you. So, kindly, lower the gun. Um, and I think Ella, like, looks towards Cecil. Looks towards her. I lost a bunch of good men today. He, like, tosses the gun from Frankly, this ain't worth my time. Um, yeah. So, what do you do? Um, Cecil's kind of there, like, get ungagged now. It's like, ugh! Good to see that your loyalty is so easily traded, Parcher. Fantastic. Is this the part where you kill me, Tudor? Or does your woman have to do that for you too? Eating midnight. No. It was, as Parcher so accurately pointed out, we need a sense of spectacle to mark this occasion. And shooting you in this poorly attended room won't quite have the effect we're going for. I think a proper trial, well, obviously you will be convicted. Convicted for the attempted murder of a third of the population of the town. Ah, the rule of law. And then you will be similarly executed in front of a cheering crowd. But for now, we must turn the air off. You must show us where they have to turn the air back on, because there are many ways you can die. And many ways that we can keep you alive, if we see fit. So, we'll make it quick, if you turn the light back on. Turn yeah. the air back on. Okay. Um, is that you, like, going aggro on him, or is that you being like, just do this, or I shoot Oh, that's just, just words. Yeah. Um, I think manipulate. Like, Cecil is quite ready to let everyone die, despite you. But, once again, ten, charismatic. The, the, like, the pulse of the psychic maelstrom resounds throughout the room as Tudor's words, like, Two words aren't necessarily the most convincing in the world. Like, I'm going to kill you. But it can it can either be slow and painful now or an execution later. And he's like, that's a terrible deal. But then, like, this wave hits his brain. It's like, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> and then he walks over and, like, this bookcase that is usually in his room is, like, slid across. And there's, like, a secret, like, little tiny little box room behind it. And to him, inside there's, like, this big panel on this, like, Kind of almost like a, le a lecturing lectern. On top of it, like a bunch of fancy dials and knobs, and then in the middle, a big handprint scanner. And he put his um, he puts his hand on it, and the, a screen in the middle pops up, like re-enable airflow, and flicks a few switches, and then yeah, it's um, I think yeah, down on the ground floor, Stein, as you're like just you just get the door open, and like you're hurrying people through it, and you just hear the turbines start to come back on and whiz air through this room, um. Yeah, he flicks the thing, and um, I think uh, Lux, you hear like the sound of metal grating um, as the like lift locks move aside. Cool. And he turns to my back and goes, "Well, Tudor, it appears you've won. The king is dead. Long live the king." I think that is a fantastic place to end. 
because we can't really beat that tonight. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we're not going to find a suitable place to stop now, are we? <laughs> no. Uh, we didn't really get to see much of Lux in the last bit because Lux did too good of a job defusing the situation earlier. <laughs> well, I was already to undefuse the situation, but then I was like, did I, did I by any chance hear anything that means I could go and do something? No, I didn't. We're continuing the evacuation of the sector. Okay. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, that was kind of like, we, we take turns in that, bar Tudor, because Tudor's like the, the center of everything. Well, yeah. to be fair, yeah. in the next few sessions, it's going to be wonderfully hairy. And all of yeah, involved. I'm looking forward to next week. Next week, is yeah. Gonna... Like, I, I, I was all prepared for like being like, do I go in? Guns blazing? I haven't heard anything, so therefore I retreat, and then I go, oh shit, everything's gone to hell. I now have to barter for everyone's lives in terms of like exile instead of death or something. That's my job is to get that deal. Yeah. You like, you oh. did the things of a responsible leader, whereas Tudor charged men into a tiny room and got yeah. a bunch of people killed. Um, so yeah, you've lost so, two members of your court minimum, probably. A, I think maybe a couple so, more. Uh, East Tower as well, so at least three. Yeah. Have I, have I got the respect of the people though? Does Lux have the respect of the people now? I think you've definitely you've courted some good favour, and I think Arpus at least is impressed with your like good sense. Shockingly enough, but yes. So we have to do our last thing, that end of session move. Let's whip round the table and figure out who knows each other better. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess there is one last thing we can do to wrap yeah. this up is that um the intercom that will broadcast your voice to the, or a voice to the entirety of the city is is there on this panel. So Tudor, does it broadcast underground as well? Yeah, this is on all floors. Like that, you, you guys. It's the same one that was used to like broadcast that message of basically bring in the terrorist Tudor. Which you guys heard down there, so you can you can make yourself heard on every floor with that speaker system, Judah. If you if you have a message for the people, for your subjects. Um, I walk over to the intercom and activate mm -hmm. it. Yeah, there's a squealing noise heard in the rest of the, the building, and everyone kind of like looks up. Like, okay. Someone needs to learn how to do some audio visual skills. Right. Fellow denizens of Cecil Street, we've, the air has returned. Many sacrifices have been made to deal with this horrible betrayal. I think we get the panning shots at this point of like we see kind of Craig like, talk, like having spoken to a court member and just looking like shell shocked. We see East Harrow's wife and kid like looking kind of up and like the kid looking like excited, the wife looking like concerned that yeah, like his tower isn't here. Um we just see Preed twitching on the ground. Yeah, continue. Probable betrayal by Cecil. Many good men and women have lost their lives today. But we ultimately managed to succeed. In particular thanks to the last minute help of Parcher, played a pivotal role in securing Cecil's bringing to justice so he can be tried in front of the people he so desperately wronged. And tomorrow will bring a new day and hopefully a better future. Oh, um, I'm going to give you one thing here before we end. Speak truth to a mob <laughs> if you want. Do you want to, like, start the party? Do you want to try and, like, heal the wounds that this place has suffered? Or are you with one last roll of the dice? Because the mob is basically every resident of Cecil Road right now. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Fantastic. Roll me that frenzy roll. Seeds partially. Okay, so if I just look this up, I mean that gets you some hold. Uh, Stein's character sheet. I want to do this character sheet. Oh, sorry, it was a. a I nine. get one hold. You get one hold. So what would you like to do? Would you like to make them bring forward all their precious things because you know you're now the royal family? Uh, you obviously don't want them to unite and fight for you as a gang unless you would like them to just immediately run in here and overthrow everything. 
you can have them go quietly back to their lives if you want to be boring, or you could have them fall into an orgy of uninhibited emotion, fucking, lamenting, fighting, sharing, celebrating as you choose. Yeah, let's let, let's orgy. have them fall into a, a crazy party, like end of Lord of the Rings style. Into an orgy of uninhibited celebration. Crazy shit. Yeah, the the taps in the iron spigot run clear, like beer practice flowing down the streets. It's it's the party. The king, the king has risen. Um, yeah, it's it's this is essentially the day that I think possibly goes down as, as the, your coronation almost. Um, VC day, victory in Cecil Street. Yep. Cool. All right. So, yeah. HX yeah. or Hex. Uh, oh, it's sick. Do, we, do we get cut to like a montage of everyone celebrating? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, we cut, like, let's cut to each of the other PCs briefly as you hear this speech. Like, you've been let go by Jeremiah now, Midnight. As soon as, as soon as Parcher is thanked in the speech. I, how, like, let's cut round. So, Lux, what are you doing to celebrate? I think, like, I kind of immediately turn, like, almost rugby tackle Rhymer and, like, make out with him a little bit and it's... say, Opus, get on the gun. And sort of we sort of we sort of drive up towards the gates like holding hands a little bit. Yeah. It's the um it's that famous picture uh picture where the um after like World War Two yeah where the, like, the soldier like, sort of, is dipping I'm sort of like the beginning nurse, to, like, but it's you back. dipping Rhymer. <laughs> yeah, and being shepherd people back it's like no like dip Rhymer, bring him back funny. up. Yeah. Um and then bring him back up. And it's like I right, cool and then sort of driving towards the gates, kind of like basically not even paying attention, like just kissing yeah. Rhymer. Yeah, I think the the doors like run open and like it's. Because of the like crazy psychic power that's come out of this, like, um, it's it's is it David with the so yeah. with the sniper rifle strong on his back, like runs out and like hugs you and like runs into the crowd. And everyone, I'm still driving my car. But... Oh yeah, well he runs yeah. out like cheer, yeah. open the door, like, like yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think I think I hug and kiss David as well. I'm just yeah. like I'm going nuts. Yeah, it's all the thing of, like all of the the enmity is forgotten yeah. instantly. It, it's. I think maybe the one person who notices this is odd is Stein, as everyone around him is, like, washed in this. And I think you even feel the pull of it, but you know what it is. You know that Tudor has essentially just brainwashed 500 people into forgetting that anything was even wrong. Um, yeah. Before you were also swept up in it. So maybe you remember that the next day. But yeah, the, the, the taps run wild. Like, the, big, the good alcohol is busted out. How, how, do, we, how do we find Midnight? Uh, Midnight has ensured that every man in the surrounding area of where she is having a party makes sure that she keeps a drink in her hand, otherwise she leaves. Okay. By, by herself. Okay, yeah. Um, I think uh, Rourke is escorted off um, briefly, like, by some people who have kept saying that to maybe think, we could actually save this guy's life. <laughs> um, what happened to Margaret? Uh, she Margaret, got like, she, she, she kind of wakes up. Like, she, there's a few people who need medical attention. She's not dead. She's pretty roughed up, but she'll actually be okay. Um, Rourke may never be able to actually fight again, which he's finding. Pretty, well, we'll get to that. Um, uh, East Harrow, um, twice gone. Um, yeah. I was told I should probably go and seek some medical attention, but I thought a few drinks. Yeah, no, like you actually don't... like go on this. Yeah, I think you you. Maybe get enough to stop you to stabilize you, and then you're like out there within the streets. Yeah, crying. you know, like just enough for me to be able to survive the night, <laughs> yeah, and then like, tomorrow I can not only have to go in for the yeah. injuries that I've sustained, but also the tremendous hangover I will undoubtedly have. Good, good stuff. And finally, Tudor. So we see this look of maybe I don't know. What what are you in the moment where you know that you're being brainwashed? What's the like emotion that Tudor has? That Stein has. Wait, does it? Does it? Oh, Stein. I don't think. I, I don't think anyone else realizes. I don't think Stein will necessarily has a very clear picture. He just knows there's something a little off because he's, Lux has no idea at he's all. He's rather sensitive to the weird, so he yeah. sees like the fluctuations in the pattern rolling off the speakers. Uh, yeah, I mean like, to. Huh? And then, like, are you? Is that like okay? He's doing a good thing, or is that like? this is wrong, or is it just kind of a, like queasy in the middle and then suddenly you're caught in the, in the wave? I'm, I'm just curious of, of Stein's it, thoughts on the matter. My thoughts? Yeah. Um, my my act I, I'm still really quite spooked from my encounter with Rachel. Yeah. Um, so my priority, like I, I guess something is really wrong, but I, I sort of feel 
the the mock relief of everybody and everyone you know sort of celebrating yeah. um so I, I my my first course of action is basically to get um Drem, uh, oh, Dremor and what's his name Barker yeah yeah to basically scoop up Freed and collar Isaac and basically say we need to see to the, we need to see yeah. to him first you you take him and, down to like maybe your um your workspace or to maybe his surgery or something but yeah okay. yeah cool uh yeah um and then my last question Tudor how do we how do we see the king in his uh final moments of the of his his, his victory day. I just turn the only person unaffected by your own spell, as it were. Turn back from the speaker, um, and essentially go to Parcher. We'll 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 speak tomorrow before he kind of yeah before he falls off. victim to it as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. So hex. Um, we have to pick one person, so you have to find reasons why. Even the ones who are on their own, why someone knows you better or worse. I know, it's weird. You've yeah. had a few conversations. I mean, speeches have been made, events have happened. Like, you could say maybe, for instance, Lux, you could say you even know Midnight. Or Midnight, you know of Midnight better or worse, or she might know you better the next time she sees you because, like, your crush has gone to full puppy dog eyes. Um, when you realise me, me I, th I think either. Tudor knows me better because not now, but mm. when Sister fuses, they'll have heard the story of I assembled an army. Yeah. For Tudor. Like, you, like you, he you came up with a rational plan to like open the air shaft. Then you, you like yeah. bargained for lives and things like that. You you proved yourself. I, in I battle. looked after I looked after the core. I I I I was ready to attack if I was needed to. But I looked after the core, so I think yeah. Tudor, Tudor okay. knows me better. Mark plus one hex with uh, Lux, Tudor. Cool. Uh, Midnight, who knows you better? Um. I think it almost has to be um, Tudor, because it, you ran it, away. Yeah, it has to be Tudor. Mainly because I haven't really had any interaction with anyone else. Mm. Yeah, I think it, it definitely has to be Tudor in this case, because Tudor, you know that when the chips are really down, Midnight will abandon you. To save herself. Yeah. She'll be bad at it, but she'll do it. <laughs> she nearly gets away with it. So you but also not mark quite. plus one. Um, Tudor, who knows you better? Or worse, that that does also count. Someone who who understands you less as a result of their actions or your actions. Well, I guess even though Midnight did run away, we did kind of charge into battle with yeah. each other. She, so I guess she, she does you know in you better. A lot of situations today. <laughs> okay, and finally, Stein. Who knows you better? I don't think anyone really knows me any better, considering I had the only interaction with the other three that I had today was a brief communication with Lux, which resulted in her mm. basically passing yeah. off the responsibility. I assume, like, everyone's stories becomes, like, legend, almost. Like, you guys meet up and you talk and stuff like that, and maybe the actions of today has been shared around, like... The... I wonder, is it maybe, um... Or does... Is it maybe that Tudor knows you less well because he would dare try to brainwash people in front of you and you're like, that is not okay. <laughs> or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, uh, I think... Oh, God, it, it's difficult. It's, it's, between, it's between Tudor and Lux knowing me less well. I mean, I think Lux and I have the same sort of relationship, whereas uh, something's off between, okay, if I know Tudor's grand goal is basically to wipe the mind of the entire town and take a sort of dictator's role, then yeah. I wouldn't be you know, so keen to actually help him with anything. Yeah. Hey, I'd say I'm not, I'm not mind washed me. everyone. I've just made everyone party for oh, a no, day. No, it's, <laughs> it's 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 definitely you. You are doing the thing of you have a you're doing ends justify means. If you're like, well, everyone's fucked up, so I'm gonna make everyone happy by sending them off to celebrate, and I will emotionally manipulate them with my mind to do so. And I think it's, yeah. it's maybe Stein is a more of means are important kind of guy, whereas you're as like, a, nope, fuck it, I'm a good guy. I, so what I do is good things. It's... I think it's more that uh, Stone and Tudor are, have quite core similarities in the way that we think and process things. Hmm. Um, so I recognise the intent as something more than "hello, you know, hooray, we're all one, let's go, you know, celebrate our victory." I think I sense there is something more to it that yeah. I don't agree with. So, so yeah, I'd say okay. slightly less because he didn't bother to actually share 
any so, future so gold. So drop your drop your but, hex with uh with stone by one, Judah. Sorry, man. It's got. It, I've got to do this logically. So. No, that's fine. I mean, it, it I might, disagree with your reasoning, but you know that kind of makes sense. I dropped midnight last time. Also, so it's also fair. you disappeared and yeah. did bother to send any kind of like correspondence back yeah, so it's like, you guys walk towards the elevator together and then you abandoned him and then it's like I the said, next thing I, he hears I, from you is you brainwashing the town i mean exactly. it might not be you you guys will have entirely again philosophical different points of view on the right or wrong of that but that might be why you just assume maybe exactly yeah. i mean to stein Tudor disappeared and left his entire court just in, in a uh, you know, to, to die, I'm eventually. pretty sure we sent a message at the end of the last session. I don't. Someone needs to check that. Okay, I'll, I have I'll have a look. I may be wrong. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to pick at your character at all. It's yeah. just that's my my character is currently reading from you. Oh, I know. It's just you're at plus three. That's it's, that's it's the, the end facets of, of an interesting relationship of um like. All right, you actually have a good relationship with me. Yeah, or... he understands you. He thought. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he understands you a little less now. But it's, it's an interesting thing of like we um. We build these things of like you're actual people as opposed to like you don't just get to know each other more and more and more. There's like there's cracks in everyone's relationships. Yeah, and that's, I mean these things that's should the first the, one in you guys. That's it. HX should form naturally, and to be honest, I think you're probably going to have needs for me within your newfound. Uh, oh, so segment. much. You yeah. may have noticed that you knocked out one of the two service elevators in this yeah, town break with explosions. <laughs> that alone will take some fixing. You yeah. are going to be so overworked. It'll be majestic. Right. Let's wrap up. So whip around. They want to have final thoughts, shout outs, things they wish to plug that they do or talk on the internet. Whatever. Johnny, go. Hashtag Lux loves chat and chat loves Lux. <laughs> That's my shout out. Um, I've, had a, I've had a riot. I'm, I'm disappointed I didn't let lead an assault that got me to show off how much fucking armor I have, because it's so much fucking armor. The last few days we've just been getting- oh god! Oh, we're oh off. fuck's sake. Oh, we're at the uh, four hours uh, limit. Four hour. uh, I'll just switch to this one. Keep talking, keep talking. Um, yeah. Well, for the last few days uh, we've had pe excited messages from Johnny about his capacity to tank everything past like a large Like, I don't, I don't think you can- like, uh, takes a hundred, takes like fifty guys with rocket launchers to hurt me at all if I'm in my tank, and it's beautiful. I I wanted so badly to bail everyone out, but it turns out they could handle it themselves, and for that I respect them as much as I wish I had to bail them out. Yeah, respect them. I just don't like them. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, Chip, while oh, you're a spinning little circle. Yes, I'm a spinning little circle. What are you? Uh, do you have final thoughts to share? Oh. Um, today was pretty cool. You know, we got a little bit more action. <laughs> you nearly <laughs> died. I nearly you died. You nearly died. died. Yeah, you know, my my whole plan in my head got fucking ripped apart by some people. So thank you for that. And also, you know, a shotgun. <laughs> and you know, um, nearly died again. Um, but you know, we've finished it with a massive fuck off party. And you can't really complain. Yeah. So well, we'll have a look in on the aftermath of the party in the next week, I think. Also, following the hashtag get chip on Twitter thing that happened a couple of weeks ago, um, I'll put it in the chat for you guys, for any of yeah, you go, that aren't Go follow me. chip on Twitter. I know quite a few of you are, so, you know, like... It's cool. cool. I am giving a cool. thumbs up, but I don't think the camera can see me. No. Uh, uh, for the yeah, YouTube okay. viewers in the future, she is at Sheringham Ray. I'll that put it in the chat. Sheringham R E Y. Do uh, Joseph? Oh, you, you appear to be muted, fella. You? Am I muted now? No, you're talking now. Okay, cool. It's been a dramatic day. Maybe. Be nice to see what happens to the story now. Presumably, it won't be revolving around me so much mm. so hopefully we can get some more interesting angles going on yeah i think that we'll we'll definitely open up to more to different interactions at least um, between people um it will be less just lux and midnight oh sorry lux and um stein and then you and midnight and i'm excited for that um yeah oh jesus didn't mean to do that how do i undo that <laughs> what did you do i clicked on one of the webcam windows and then everything went to hell um, oh, now my so smooth. Disappeared. Bad. Bad GM. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say? 
Twitter. Hit us up to everything. And then you good? Do I not go chat? Yeah, no, you do. I'm just making sure Joe was finished. And then finally, yeah, you, you, Jamie. Cool. Like, yeah, as always, shout out to the chat. Uh, massive turnout tonight, which is awesome. Um, yes, thank you to the guys at Encounter Roleplay if you're still here. Really definitely a big shout out to you guys. Hope we see you again at some point. Um, you guys in chat are bad people. You actually made me activate my Twitter account, which some of you did point out was created in 2010 and has yet to only have one tweet, which was this evening. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll post that in the chat. So if you can tweet me or whatever, you can do that. Um, yeah, always fun. Fucking psyched for next week. And I would also, before Finbar wraps this up, like to, um, focus our attention on Super Skitty Seal Kitty 5000 for a few final words. Hello! We love Marvin TV. Everyone should follow. <laughs> And maybe subscribe once he gets big enough to have a subscriber button. Yay. Thank you. And for all the people who doubted me in the chat, you can't say Super Skitty Seal Kitty 5000. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye okay. now. I will wrap up then. Thank you all for coming down. Uh, it has been a true pleasure. If you are new to this whole thing and you've watched this session, this was a result of kind of three... Uh, episodes of build up and sort of domino setting up and then you know chip shooting it in the head uh, if you would like to catch up on those they're all down in my YouTube channel and the panels below um, at the same time there is also my post show which I do after these go up on YouTube uh, where I go through my fronts and I give you guys an insight into um, into my thought processes and how I plan this game uh, I think a lot of people were getting very excited when I kept trying to like push preed onto stein because um yeah maybe i came up with that plan in the last post show and maybe i was really excited to pull it off um certain things haven't happened that i was hoping would There's more things happened that i didn't like i was not expecting ella to be quite as fun as she was to play um <laughs> she's a hard ass i'm really glad she survived because i actually kind of like her um unfortunately rock may as well but yes you should if you're new and you're having a good time, please hit that follow button. It means an awful lot to me. Uh, we do this once a week. Uh, I do other GM content. I'm working towards doing more shows. Fuck that. Uh, the next, the, my schedule for my stream and stuff is down in the panels below as well. And finally, if you have any questions about tonight's session, or you would like to assist the players in voting on which stats get highlighted and as such how they gain XP, go check the Reddit link in the chat currently. Or in the description of this YouTube video below. Go there. Ask me shit if you're interested. Vote in those straw polls. It's going to be great. We will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye guys. We all survived. See you folks. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. Alright guys, again, thank you so much for coming down. Um, it's been a really fun night. This has been a very exciting session. Apocalypse World does work in these kind of arcs um, where it builds and builds and then everything suddenly just goes... Um, I And as the game says, there is no status quo in the Apocalypse World. So I think we've successfully shattered one. And next is our genetic freaks out of Winter News that weirdness and also you know crazy hair psychic lady well rachel who now has her tendrils in two pieces it's all very exciting uh thank you all the people who turned up who are new it means so cool to have so we made like 20 viewers tonight which is i think peak for me i'm very excited yes do go and find that um q a i love answering questions about this games because i love talking about these games uh if you also if you want to ask anything, that's a separate place to go. All my social media is down there. Do the thing. You're all smart people.